Hi, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to discuss a recent find in archaeology that continues to prove the validity and the accuracy of the Bible. In the city of David in Jerusalem, a Nathan Malik Avid Hamlik seal stamp was found here recently. Now is that a name that you recognize? Probably not. It's a very small name in the Bible, only used once, I believe, in the book of Kings. But what this continues to show is that even the small, minute detail of the Bible has been passed down correctly. He was a uh, officer of the Judea King Josea. What you're looking at here is a stone that is 2,600 years old, and it still bears the name of someone in the Bible that we have in the Book of Kings. This was a seal stamp or a bulla, which is used to authenticate documents or items. It's very tiny maybe a centimeter in size, but it is the first to seal the proof of the archaeological evidence of this biblical name. I think we should take a moment and pause and recognize here how truly amazing this is though. When you have ancient writings, historical documents speaking about historical figures from King David to Jesus, these are impressive, don't get me wrong. But when it's talking about somebody we've never even heard of and there's evidence of that, it speaks volumes. This is just one example of a wave and a sea of evidence that the Bible has been translated to us correctly, been passed down. Nothing has been lost. God's word has been preserved. No wonder why Dr. Clifford Wilson, formerly the director of the Australian Institute of Archaeology, quotes, I know of no finding in archaeology that is properly confirmed with an opposition to the scriptures. The Bible is the most accurate history textbook the world has ever seen. God bless you. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day in Jesus' name.